Okay, so this is part two of my how to make a elevator and hammer. Uh, on this one, I'm going to show you how to add different floors and how to add a door. I already did it for you. I'll just take you through the steps. So if you don't have your elevator yet, watch my part one video and then come back to here once you learn how to make an elevator. Uh, the only differences I change is add no draw instead of invisible for uh, the button and um, the outer shell. Okay, so first we're going to do is add another floor. Do that, simply go to your prop tool and add path underscore track. And then click it and put it wherever you want here. So right now we only had path 1 leading up to path 2. So we're going to add path 3. Add, uh, make your prop uh, for path track and drag it wherever you want. And then go to path 2 and set next stop target to path 3. And then go up to path 3 and go to next stop target to be path 1. So after it finishes, it'll go back down to the start. Okay, now go to path 2 and we're going to add some outputs. First, uh, go to add an output and on pass, target entity's name elevator with set speed with a parameter override of 0. So this way it'll stop when it reaches this floor. And do that for both these paths, path 2 and path 3. So now we have it when the elevator will move, it'll stop at each of those floors. And then all you have to do is press the button again with the output of start forward, targeted to elevator, unpressed, and it'll move forward. Now we're going to add the door. To do this is very simple. Take your brush tool and you're going to make a brush about half the size of this elevator. So my brush is this and I modeled, uh, I textured it to be this gate. So make a brush about the half the size of the elevator and press control T and uh, hold on and it's going to be funk underscore door and then name it door one or door two or whatever you want to name it and uh, you can set all these to label for reset I'm going to have four uh, for lip put two uh, yeah unlip put two and you're going to do the same for this one uh, you got to shift and drag over to here and these are both going to be the same. The only thing you have to change is go down to the bottom and click move direction and then drag this arrow to point wherever you want it to move. Uh, it may take some adjusting and you'll eventually get it to where both these d doors move into opposite directions. So now we have our door. Now let's make it open on both these floors. So you're going to add another button outside to call the elevator. So go to the button and the output. Oh, hold on. I label my doors wrong. Ah, uh, crap. Door two. Lift two. Move direction. Okay. Now, go to your button on for outputs. You add a new output to on press target entity door one with open, and then say add another one for door two open, and then also add one for on press target entity name elevator will start forward after a delay of four seconds. So basically, the door will open, and then after four seconds, the elevator will start. And I also added it to where. Uh, actually change this to three so after three seconds it'll close and then the elevator will start moving let's see I think I might have got covered everything uh, 
to start forward for that. Mm. Okay, so basically, when you press the button, the doors will open, you have time to get in, then it'll start forward, it'll stop at this floor, path two, then the doors will open. Uh, yeah, I probably didn't cover this. You can add on pass, door one, with open, and same with door two on both of these. So, like pass, it'll open. Um, yeah, I think I got everything. Uh, if you have any questions or have any requests for tutorials, this was a request some guy asked me to do, and I kind of just threw it together. It's still a bit buggy, uh, and I'm not sure which specific purposes you're going to use this elevator for, so if you have any different requests for it, I'll figure it out and uh, make another tutorial. So if anyone else wants a tutorial, just ask me. Thank you for watching.